.NET 9 has new methods for link operation. They are count by and aggregate by. They simplify some of the complex logic that we had to write before .NET 9 using group by. My name is Brugin and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you are new to the channel, make sure to click the subscribe button. That way you are notified when I release a new video in the .NET domain. My goal is to make programming easy for all the .NET developers. Let's get back to today's topic on the two new link methods that have been introduced with .NET 9. They are count by and aggregate by. To explain both of them, we will be writing some code to see how both of them comes together. Let me go back to Visual Studio and I will create a new project. I am using Visual Studio 2022 Preview because .NET 9 is not released yet, so you will have to use the preview version. And the features are only available in .NET 9, so it will not be available if you use the older version. I will call the project name New Link Features here, and I will have the authentication type of individual user account. That way I will have the DB context already configured and the .NET version is .NET 9. Let me wait for the project to be created. And perfect. In the app settings, we have the connection string here. That is fine. Let me remove the grid. Perfect. Now we need to create few models. The first model that I want to create is in the models folder. Let me create a new class and that will be student model. I will create three properties there, ID, name and gender. Then for each student, they will have score in individual subject. Let me create that model. I will call that student score. It will have a foreign key relation with the student model and perfect. We have the student ID for that. We will have the score. This will basically based off 100. So out of 100, what did they score? And we have a subject name. Now I will not add validation that it should only be within a range of 1 to 100, but you can do that if you want. In the data application DB context here, we will have to create DB set. Let me create DB set for both student and student score. Now I want to seed some data in both the tables. That way we have something to play around. Right here, let me override the on model creating. And there we will seed some data. Let me first seed some data for the student and we will create three students there. We have the ID of one, two, three and two male and one female. That is great. Next for each of the student here, I want to create something in the student score. So right here, let me add that logic here. And for each student, we have three subjects and the individual scores for each subject. That looks good. With that, let me save it here and make sure you have the on model creating because we have identity db context or else it will throw an exception. Let me add a migration here, call that initial and then update the database. Perfect. The migration will have the seeded records. We can take a look at that here and yep, we have that. Let me wait for the migration and it's done. Perfect. That looks good. With that, our base project has been configured. Let me go to the home controller and now we will see the new features in .NET 9. First feature is count by. For that, what I want to do is I want to basically display the gender name and the number of students in that gender. So basically it will be male 2, female 1. At first I will do that using the traditional way before the new feature have been introduced. We will require our database read only application db context here. 
let me inject that perfect then right here we will say variable student gender count is equal to underscore db dot students dot to list and there we will have to use group by we will group them by gender once we do that then we will use projection here and we will basically create a new object where we will say gender is equal to c dot key and the total count that is equal to c dot count this is how we traditionally had to do things before dot net 9 then let me display that in a for each loop and have a console dot right line now what if i want to do the same things with the new count by that has been introduced in dot net 9 let me paste the for each once again here let me call that gender counter new where we have the in clause let me go to underscore db dot students dot to list and then we have the new feature that is count by when we say count by all we have to do is the column or the property that we want to count by and that is gender when we have to display here we will say gender counter new dot key key will be gender and gender counter new dot value will be the count let me just say new count by and then we will display that perfect with that let me save and run the application if i open the console window here you will notice both the values and perfect you can see it is displaying the old way and right here we have the new count by and that is exactly the same but you can see when you have to program it the count by is so much simple all you need is count by and that's about it so that is the new feature count by in dot net 9 next feature that i want to introduce you is aggregate by in dot net 9 now what i want to do is let me open what we have seeded here each student has scores in few subject I want to display a list where we will have name of the student and the total score that they have across all the subject. How can we do that? First, let me do that in the traditional way without using the new aggregate by. We will create a variable student score total is equal to underscore db dot student scores and we want name of the student so we need the include statement there perfect on there we will have to use group by and we want to group that by student dot name for that we need to use projection we will project that to a new object here in there we want name of the student that will be inside u dot key that is the key name here add a comma we want total score total score will basically be u dot sum we need to aggregate that so we will say u goes to u dot score it will basically add that and we will have the total score after that we need to print the result here let me add a for each loop and for each student score we will say total score for student name is the total score now this is the old way the new way let me try that now and for that we will use the aggregate by let me copy this actually all of that paste it here and let me call that new we will use that in for each perfect so now let me show you the aggregate by we will use the include statement that is good but after that we need the dot to list here we want this to be calculated first and on there we will use the aggregate by when we are aggregating that by 
we want to aggregate that by student name, comma, we have something called as seed. Seed is basically, let's say if you want to add 100 to the existing value, you can seed anything, but we do not want to add anything. And then the third parameter is the function itself. For the function, the parameters, let me call that current total and the student record. We will have the function here. And what do we want? We want a variable current total to maintain the total score for that student. So on current total, we will add student dot score. That way it will maintain that current total. And that's all. We do not need anything else here. Let me remove that. And that's it for the aggregate by. When we have to display that, we will again have key and value similar to what we had inside the count by. So let me walk you through on what we are doing. We are saying we want to aggregate that by student.name. That will be the key. And what is the value? That will be the function here. We want to add the current total. It will be zero initially. And we want to append all records for student score for that particular student that we have aggregated by. It will give exactly the same result with what we have in the old way, but we are using aggregate by. We do not have to use any projections or anything with the new methods. With that, let me run that and see if we have the same result. Let me open the console here and perfect. You can see we have total score two times and both of them are working exactly the same, but the later one is using aggregate by. With that, you can see the power of count by and aggregate by in .NET 9. Now again, these features are only available in .NET 9 and not in any older version. So if you want to try them in your project, you will require Visual Studio 2022 preview. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a comment and like the video. And for more exciting videos in the .NET domain, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in some other video. Till then, happy coding!